Vorm or industrial adhesive, Vorm or 3099, is a two-component polyurethane foam system that has been designed for use as an adhesive in the manufactured housing industry. The foam adhesive is produced by a combination of two different chemicals, commonly referred to as polyol and isocyanate, or as A side and B side. Isocyanates, also known as the A side or MDI, are more reactive than the polyol, meaning that it will spontaneously react with water, alcohols, and a variety of other chemicals. If you're working in an area where contact with the isocyanate is imminent, the material safety data sheets, commonly referred to as the MSDS, should be referenced for detailed handling and health messages specific to the product. The polyol or B-side is a mixture of various chemical components and also contains a carefully controlled concentration of water. This is an important point because if the B-side is contaminated with additional water or exposed for long periods of time to a humid environment, it could affect the way the product performs. The isocyanate reacts with the polyol to make the final adhesive product. Voramor industrial adhesives were designed for the adhesion of roof trusses and sheetrock ceiling board. They will process through high-pressure proportioning equipment, such as the Graco Reactor A20 or Graco Reactor A25, and mix through most any two-component adjustable or fixed stream mix head. Voramor industrial adhesives foam rises faster than most other polyurethane foam adhesive systems, providing quicker visual identification of proper application. Under optimal conditions, they will cure in two to five minutes, quickly maximizing the structural integrity of the ceiling assembly. Avoid contact with unreacted chemicals and avoid allowing the polyol and especially the isocyanate to come into contact with your skin or your eyes. Should this happen, refer to the MSDS for proper first aid and hygiene instructions. The person applying Vorm or industrial adhesives should wear safety goggles and a full face shield. Persons working near where the product is being applied should wear safety glasses with side shields. Wear gloves when handling the unreacted chemicals or when applying the mixed materials. Nitrile or polybutadiene gloves are recommended as they provide resistance to the isocyanate and are also tear resistant. Wear proper protective clothing over the arms and any exposed skin that may come into contact with the materials. Paper suits are acceptable protection as long as they are discarded after being stained with unreacted chemical. Apply the materials in a well-ventilated area. If the possibility of respiratory exposure exists, wear a half-mask respirator with NIOSH-approved cartridges for organic chemicals. If ventilation is poor in the area where the material is being applied, a full-face positive pressure respirator is required. Safety is Dow's number one priority. If you have questions about personal protective equipment, safe handling, or proper application, whether you use a Dow system or not, please don't hesitate to contact a Dow representative. During maintenance of dispensing equipment, it is possible to become exposed to unreacted isocyanate and polyol. Take care to perform all maintenance in well-lighted, well-ventilated areas. And make sure that you wear appropriate PPE at all times. Many of the components of chemical dispensing systems contain the chemical components under pressure. In order to eliminate the potential of generating a mist or vapor, be sure to depressurize all systems before performing maintenance. Voramor 3099 is designed to be the easiest product of its kind for application. It rises quickly upon application, allowing the operator to see where and how much material has been applied to the junction between the truss and the ceiling board. Ideal application includes applying liquid foam stream just above the junction on the truss. Foam stream will bridge gap and form a foam bond between stud and sheet rock. When properly applied, Vormor 3099 will contribute to the construction of a quality, low-cost ceiling diaphragm. Improper application can lead to defects in the ceiling, loss of ceiling panels, and high cost of the ceiling due to overuse of foam. 
the keys to successful application rest in three main areas. Storage and temperature of the chemicals, preparation of the product surface, proper application technique. A key to proper dispensing of the vorm or industrial adhesives is providing consistent tempering of the liquid materials. Keeping the temperature of the chemicals at 75 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit in storage keeps the viscosity low enough to provide free flow of the material into the proportioner, allowing the material to run at the proper temperature upon application. Voramore was tested and designed to bond to clean wood or paper face gypsum surfaces. If debris or dust is present on the product surfaces when the adhesive is applied, the adhesive will bond to the debris and dust, rather than the gypsum and truss. This will result in less bonding strength. The gypsum and wood should be dry in at least 50 degrees Fahrenheit before the adhesive is applied. Excessive moisture in the gypsum or wood will react with the adhesive and may cause a poor bond to form. Another important factor in surface preparation is the minimization of gap between the truss cord and the gypsum. If a large degree gap of greater than half an inch exists, the potential for a weak bond to form between the truss and gypsum increases. It also makes it difficult for the applicator to apply a constant bead of foam along the truss cord, requiring considerably more foam to adhere the trusses and gypsum. First, Remember to always apply the product at correct operating temperatures. 75 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit storage temperature, 90 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit temperature on equipment preheater, 90 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit hose temperature, and 50 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit gypsum or wood temperature. As long as these temperature criteria are met, the ambient temperature should not be a major concern. Before applying, ensure all applicators are wearing proper personal protective equipment, and then attempt a test shot into a bucket or garbage bag. With the work surface at waist level or below, pull the trigger and apply a stream of material approximately 6 to 8 feet from the tip of the dispensing gun at the center of the truss. Attempt to apply the material just above the junction of the truss and the sheetrock. Applying the material too far above the junction will waste material because it reacts quickly. In a smooth pulling motion, the applicator should apply the stream from approximately 8 feet away until the point of application is approximately 3 feet away. The operator should avoid applying the stream from distances above 10 feet away and close distances less than 2 feet. Controlling applied glue amount from far away distances or too close distances is difficult. This results in higher adhesive usage. Pulling the application stream toward the operator has proven to save material in the finished product. Using Boromore 3099, the final bead should make contact with one inch of gypsum and three quarters inch of wood along the entire length of the truss. The bead may run under the truss or along the side of the truss as long as it is contacting at least three quarters inch of wood and one inch of gypsum at any point. After application, ensure the ideal amount of product is applied optimizing usage rates and lowering costs. After the materials are applied, refrain from stepping on the truss or gypsum for at least two minutes. This will allow the product time to set and cure. The ceiling can be lifted and moved.